Welcome to Raymond James Stadium. My name is Alyssa Lang. Joining me is Hunter Banks. We have just wrapped up the 2013 Outback Bowl where the South Carolina Gamecocks came out victorious over the Michigan Wolverines by a score of 33 to 28. We're going to go over the game, some of its actions. Hunter's going to break down some of the action, excuse me. Hunter's going to break down offense, defense, special team for us, give us some grades and perhaps a dreadcock of the week. Let's start with Maybe, offense. If Maybe, we're, if they're lucky. <laughs> Let's start with offense. Who really stuck out to you? Who would you name your offensive MVP? And what grade would you give the South Carolina Gamecock offense today? Uh, I'd give them a, a B minus. Uh, MVP goes to Ace Sanders. And Who was, was also named the MVP. <laughs> um, two touchdowns, 92 yards receiving. Doesn't get much better than that. And, you know, lucky for the Gamecocks, Florida State passed on him. Spurrier said he was glad that Florida and Florida State passed on him. They said he was too small to play. Well, I think he may have proved them wrong today. I think today. he played pretty well. <laughs> I, he may be small, but he plays big. He does. But he played well. Connor Shaw and Dylan Thompson both played well. Um, somebody who did not play well. Uh, unfortunately, as a fifth-year senior, Kenny Miles yes. uh, had a fumble that was a real bummer, and the running game really just could not get off the ground. Yeah, neither, ne none, uh, if I can talk, it's been a long day, excuse me, none of the running backs, Mike Davis, Kenny Miles, or Sean Carson, were really able to bust out any long runs. It was yeah, only a few and really not getting anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, if, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Connor Shaw had 102 no, he had 96 yards, Kenny Miles had one, and one. Dylan Thompson had negative 12. Wow. That was the rushing game. Michigan was really stuffing the box on them, yes. obviously. Uh, they, they crashed the box, and it worked to a T. And, and, and that created some problems for South Carolina until they got the passing game going. Now, something else that created problems for Michigan, our South Carolina defense, who really stood out to you this game on defense what were some of the big plays? I know there's one in particular that we are both very impressed by, none Jadavian. other than Jadavian Clowney coming up with a car crash of a hit. Talk about that. What kind of momentum shift was that? What grade would you give the defense? Uh, I, I would give them a C minus. It's enough to pass, enough to win. But aside from a few players like Devontae Holloman uh, and some of the, uh, I mean, Clowney did not have a good first half but he had a good game solely based on the one play that he had because it had such an impact. But the defense, the secondary in particular, had its moments of just playing just utter non-existence, basically. There were several times that the secondary just broke down, and right. the only reason it wasn't a big play, a big touchdown, was either the receiver fell or Devin Gardner overthrew or underthrew. And the Gamecock secondary were lucky that the game played out the way it did. Right. Now, switching over to special teams, what stood out to you there? What grade would you give special teams? I give special teams an A. I mean, of course, time, when A Sanders any, yeah, is on your any, special any team. Time, anytime you have a punt that's returned for a touchdown, you're going to get an A on special teams. And that was a thing of beauty. And also, you know, Adam Yates had a pretty good game uh, kicking. You know, he had a couple touchbacks. He did have one that was marked back up to the 35. Originally, at the 40, but Spurrier right. said, hey, <laughs> hang on, that's not where the ball goes. Yeah, that was an interesting and, uh, uh, chain of events. Yeah, the, the old ball, excuse me, the head ball coach uh, calling the referees out. Very, very interesting. But uh, it, the special teams played great. I, I don't have anything bad to say about them at all. All right, and I'm going to force you to do it. Dreadcock of the week. Who is the number one dreadheaded South Carolina football player in the Outback Bowl? Who do you think it is? I think it's a toss-up between Ace Sanders and Jadavian Clowney, but honestly, Ace was more of an impact player for the Gamecocks, so I got to give it to him. Ace Sanders is Alyssa Lang's Dreadcock of the Week. <laughs> well, there you go. That's He's my Dreadcock of the Week also. <laughs> it's just, you know, anytime he has a big play like that, really sparked the crowd. He had two touchdowns in the passing game, one in special teams, three touchdowns. Hometown guy, he's from Manatee, just up the road. You know, it's a it's a special moment. And Gamecock and, Nation loves him. Yeah, they love him, and it was it was awesome to see him just all smiles because his whole family was here. Right. It was just a special day for him, and I'm glad it happened for him. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap it up? Uh, somebody in the press conference asked Spurrier if he was going to the NFL. He said, "No, nah, I've already been there." So Gamecock fans, you can 
rest easy. Sit Spurrier's tight. here. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you for viewing the rest of our coverage on the Outback Bowl week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at CCS on SGTV. And remember, Carolina, stay cocky.